Hello again, uh, it's John Chigi from the, uh, for the Pragmatic Electric. Um, I just thought I was out and about and wanted to do a little bit of a mini review, uh, thoughts and comments on this thing, which you may not quite immediately see, uh, which is a sunshade um, for the Model 3, for my Standard Range Plus Model 3. Um, it's uh, from Tessessories and unlike some of the others that are out there, this particular one has uh, both a, a, uh, a shade as well as a, a silver reflective attachment. And that silver reflective attachment is very, very helpful. So the screen itself is actually held together, held in place by these clips. And they're only a very thin piece of plastic. They don't have to actually hold much weight. And there's a hook, and that hooks into the actual steel rib on the actual, on the frame. So the silver part attaches with a piece of, uh, there's a little bit of elastic on each of the corners that goes over the top of this actual frame. That frame is actually a net. You can actually quite easily see through that to the other side. Yeah, hello. And uh, that allows it to reflect more light. So what I've done is I don't want a shade, I want to actually have a solid roof. So as, as lovely as it is to have a roof that you can look up, the problem in summertime is where I live, it gets just way too hot. So right now it's, you know, 24 degrees Celsius. You know, that's just lovely. But I mean, that's just because some rain just went through. And honestly, at this point, I wanted to have the top of my head. Um, it gets warm. Okay, so I'm, I'm nearly six foot tall. And so the distance from my head to that ceiling there is, uh, is such that the heat radiating off of that is quite significant. And one of the things that I find interesting about the Model 3 is that the air vents, the air vents for all the air conditioning, when they actually come through, it's really hard to get a good angle on that, but that actually doesn't come up very high. The angle that that comes up through the, the steering wheel as it comes up here, it only really reaches, if you actually look at my, uh, at, um, you know, at my, at my head height here, it only really reaches up at most, maybe about at most, maybe about my this part of my face. Like I'll get cold cheeks and a nose, and my nose will be quite cold. But top part of my head in the middle of summer, it actually gets very hot from this. So I've only been using this, uh, I've been using this shade uh, for about a week and a half, and we've had a couple of days it was at 33 degrees. And honestly, the difference is night and day. It is so much more comfortable in this car, uh, in the cabin. Uh, with this particular sunshade and with the uh, with the silver reflective lining on it. Mind you, I've seen more reflective ones in the past. It does the job, but uh, still. And of course, I've also fitted the one in the back. One in the back has another problem, and uh, oh, that's more the sag. So in the back seat now, it's a little bit of a different story. Those little brackets that hold it on, there's eight of them for the front. There's 12 of them for the back. <clears throat> now, the back piece is actually larger. But the problem is that you can only actually slide it in between the gap between the actual uh, glass and the interior piece. And of course, there's no such piece at the back. So what happens is that the back sags and it sags quite badly and it actually reduces, it probably takes a good five centimeters or two inches of visibility, which is already a little bit like when you look in the front and the, it actually looks more and more like a... Uh, so like a, a letterbox, like you're looking a little bit through the letterbox out in the back. Certainly not as bad as something like a Lamborghini Countach, which I remember Jeremy Clarkson saying once that it was like, a, it was literally like looking out of a letterbox. That's what it feels like. And uh, in any case, I am considering uh, putting some extra uh, attachments onto the glass, but then of course they'll then be permanently on the glass. I really don't want to do that, but I kind of will if I have to. But so far, uh, people in the backseat haven't complained too much. But uh, putting that up a little bit high will certainly help prevent some of that sag, but it won't prevent all of it. So swings and roundabouts, of course, I could do a compromise and only use the one in the front and not the one in the back. Uh, when it comes to winter, I'll, I'll probably just take them off. And uh, honestly, some people have said, well, look, John, you know, why don't you just tint the, the roof if you really want to reduce the amount of heat coming through? And of course, that's what a lot of people do. Uh, I've looked into that, obviously that costs more money, but it's also permanent. And the problem with permanence is that today I may want that, 
as in right now, this moment, but I mean, that's in the middle of summer. In the middle of winter, maybe I'd like to be able to look up through the ceiling, and if I don't have that ceiling, <laughs> the roof of the car, I mean. And if I, if I put a tint on there that's so dark that you just can't see anything out of there, well, that's permanent, I can't undo it, and it's game over. So I really didn't want to do something permanent. With these, I can take them off, and um, I get the best of both worlds. I, and if I want to have something that reduces the amount of light coming through and the amount of heat coming through, well, that'll work too. So that's it, basically. Um, you're looking at about uh, eighty dollars uh, for these particular for this uh, four-piece set. Uh, comes with a nice little mesh carry bag, although um, I'm not sure how often I'll be putting in that. It'll be in use more than anything else. Uh, in any case. Uh, very handy, keeps my head a lot cooler, and the interior cabin, the air conditioning doesn't have to work so hard. That's always a good thing in summer, um, and won't eat into the range quite as much. Anyway, so there you go. Um, I think it's a worthwhile investment. Works for me. Might work for you too. You never know. Uh, there'll be a link in uh, the description. All right. Take care of yourselves. Till next time. Bye.